Hello, so I'm going to take you through the new update to the Litchi app that you can use with the Mavic Mini 1. I've been using the Mavic Mini for uh, about six months now and I've been using the Litchi app. Mixed success, um, but recently I've just found out that you can use the waypoints feature now on the Litchi app, which means you can actually pinpoint where you would like the drawing to draw to go in advance, pre-program it, set it off and have it fly around the predetermined course. That's a really useful feature of the Litchi app. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So to start with, I'm going to take my drone, I'm going to position it where I want it to start from on the Litchi app. Obviously important to make sure it doesn't have any uh, trees above it when it takes off. So to use the waypoint feature, I'm going to click in the top left hand corner and your options appear there. You've got the track, the panorama, the focus, the orbit, the follow and the waypoint. So if you just hit the waypoint and then what you can do here is you then have the map and you can select the area that you want to go through. If you click the settings, there are various different things that you can select. So you've got the you've got the heading mode, so that's the way that the, the drone will point to, so that you can have towards the next waypoint, you can have the initial direction, user controlled, or waypoint defined. Um, I'm gonna have just select initial direction. Um, the finish action will be go home. You can have it to land. Okay. Um, path mode, curve terms or straight lines. The curve terms works quite now. Work, works quite nice. Um, you've got the flight speeds. If you're just going to take photos, you can select how often it will take photos. On the curve side. Default gimbal pitch mode, you can change that uh, to focus on a POI. Um, if you wanted to just focus on something uh, in particular. So there are settings that you can come up with. Next thing that you might want that you need to do is put in your routes. So if I, I've got route one there. Now what it's saying there is it's going to go to number one first at a height of 30 meters. You can change the height at various other locations. So I've got number two, number three, number four and then I'll come in here for number five okay and that will be just about where I finish now if I want to change those um, I can do that and I can click on the waypoint and change the altitude so my first altitude could be 52 meters and then first longitude and you got the cruising speed I'm not going to set it that high now I don't because that will take quite a while to get there. And you can change the heights of each one as and how you see fit. So let's see if this can work. Here's the drone. I need to do is I just need to hit play and go and the drone goes off. And there is the drone up. It's just at it's 30. It's going to the first waypoint. Now, it's going slow because when I said that I wanted it to um, follow the initial direction of the drone, so it's moving sideways, always pointing to the uh, north-west um, it'll be here. 
and so it's moving along now to number two it will get to number two and then it will reverse moving along to number three Now coming along to number four. It's just about to hit number four, and it'll be back then to number five. Now it's hit number five, it should then now start to come in to land. And it's descending in height. Here it comes. No, it's not quite going to hit my landing point. But Recording stopped. That is a pretty good job. So, all in all, I'm pretty impressed with that. That will be really useful if you've got to survey a building or an area, you want to actually map out where you want to film and have it pre-programmed. That is a really, really useful way to use the drone. So that's a Litchi app using the waypoint feature. Go check it out.